Hello, ladies and gentlemen, here. We're 2613. As you can see, we're back again with another footage of, that's right, Battlefield 1. Everybody get excited! No? Okay, well, anyway, we're going to talk about the horses here and we'll see how far we can get this. It's a 19 minute gameplay. We're going to get started into it right away. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's say thank you for watching. Now, understand that the, this is not my gameplay. I will keep saying that over and over this time again. Oh, that was a big glitch. Okay. Now, uh, see the horses are added as like an extra smaller vehicle. I don't know. They're more of a class to me than a vehicle. Asset, anyway. Because obviously when you get off the horse, you have whatever the deal is. Like if you spawn in on a horse, there you go. That's what you're going to get. Um, I don't know if that if you were on a horse and you climb onto a horse. I mean, I don't, the horse deal is a little skeptical. Now, but the, now, my friend here says the horses are fun. They can be fun and look pretty cool too. I mean, the idea of a horse running around, you know, shooting things, it's cool. They give you a sniper rifle though, which is interesting. I don't know if it's any good. Obviously, here it is. You can see, like, on the ground, here's a foot. Oh, just picked up the hero class. And we'll talk about that as well. Now, um, he says that it uh, allows you with the cavalry sword to run around, run around with the sword, and then you can. Keep the horse loaded if you dismount too. And you can also hit fire with sniper rifle on the horse, and then you can also charge and mow down and inspect and infantry with the saber. It's not very super effective, of course, because obviously you gotta get close to them, but it's really fun, they say. Or he says anyway. Which is fine, that's good. Now, onto the hero classes. Now, this is the hero class here, the Flame Trooper. Um, which said there was three in the beta. And he thinks that there's only going to be three in the main game, so we'll have to find out. Um, he said that the Flame Trooper is a very good class set when you're in, high, uh, in close quarters. And also he gets a flamethrower because he's a Flame Trooper. And this is what you're seeing right now. It's actually inside the mask of the Flame Trooper. As we basically run around trying to find someone to burn to death. Because we're basically saying, oh, there you go, there's a force sap. And boom, there you go. Instantly, it doesn't take very long. Yeah, he only got the assist as a kill, but, I mean, he did a lot of damage really fast. And let's see here. Now, there's a health buff and some incendiary grades included into him. Like, he gets, so basically the hero classes get a little extra more health boosted into him, of course. Now, there's also one called the Sentry, which is basically an armored human tank, as he decided to say it. He basically gets a health boost and regenerating health. That's right. So it's basically the LMG, and I've seen gameplay of it, and I see that it's a very good class, like a good like deal in here for infantry. Now the only issue is is that it's at over a thousand bullets. That's what the LMG has is a thousand rounds, and it's easy for you know. But you can't. I don't think you can resupply those rounds. Once those a thousand rounds rounds up, then then that's all you got. You're basically a sitting duck with you know, and the idea with that is, is that it's, it may seem great and all, you know, by all means, to allow such a cool thing. Now understand that these things can die, they ain't immortal, so don't think they're OP. Just the, the fact is, is I really doubt that it's, it says here though, that the, uh, has a huge water-cooled machine gun with over a thousand rounds of ammo, which I just said, but he can also laps off headshots and anything that hits his armor. Now I have a feeling... He says the best bet is vehicles, grenades, and other explosives against him. But I highly doubt it because there is an OP sniper rifle. It's a freaking one shot, one round, like one in the chamber tank, anti tank gun. Alright, he's, he's probably going to show some. Yep, okay, here's, so here's some airplane. We'll talk about that too. But anyway, like you said, he, he shows. The idea of this is that, like, okay. They show him in this, but I highly doubt it. And I've seen the dang sniper rifle that they have. It's a one-shot, one-round sniper rifle. It's supposed to be like an anti-take round. It can take out infantry from any range from hitting him on any of the part of the body. I don't even think there's a bullet drop off when it comes to the uh, damage. And what I've seen is people getting one-shot kills with it, and I'm thinking it's ridiculous. But obviously it's a weapon pickup, so obviously it's good. I'm thinking if you use that against this hero sentry tank, human tank class, then I don't think he's going to be laughing away anything, especially when you shoot him in the head, and he's like, ah, oh, you can't shoot me in the head, and all of a sudden the guy pulls up with that weapon and goes, BAPOW! You know what I'm saying? 
and he, he, the other guy's just dead. I mean, there's just there's, there's no way. You tell me he can't laugh that off. He only he'll be laughing. His head will be gone. Now you have the, also the the, um, the tank hunter rifle, which requires you to be prone to use it, and it packs a bunch of good. Okay, so this is what it is. It's another hero class. Okay, maybe this is what I'm talking about. However, it is placed at the E flag in the bay, which is too far away from the rest of the flags on the map, so barely anybody ever used it. And to get to the class, though, you'll have to run all the way back with it. So obviously, you know, and that's 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 a shame. Now he did say that you can mount the horses while we're having these classes, and you can still keep the hero class as far as he has known. But he, I don't think he's actually tried it in practice. Um, he says it takes two minutes for one to respawn once it's been killed, but there's only one for each t each type that can be found now. So basically, it's a uh, first come first serve. You got it. You don't got it. Whatever. So I have a feeling a lot of people will be camping it out, and I th that's something I'd probably be worried about. I think there should be a longer duration though. Maybe like every four minutes five minutes or something like that depending on the game mode because it just think it's a little unfair for it to be like every two minutes because then you know as soon as someone dies they have to run all the way over there well someone's already like sitting there camping on it boom there you go they got it now and then that's that's just, that's just very very sad now let's see here hey, I'll go through my notes here Okay, here he goes. Okay, he's sitting on the planes here real quick since we saw some plane gameplay. He said he really, really wanted to like the planes, but he wasn't very good at it, which obviously you can tell he just crashed and burned pretty quickly. Um, he said he was starting to get better, though, as he continued to use the planes and get better with them, but I'm starting to think, you know, he's starting to feel like... Starting to like them more and more, but so he says if you're experienced at piloting, so all you flyers out there, all you, uh, all you wean nuts, there's a variety of plane lots, which you could clearly see that, and he says overall the flight experience could be fun if you know how to, if you know what you're doing, and he says he says he sucks at flying, he says it's, it's very bad, but he says if you really like them, then they could be very effective if you use them, and that, that's just, to me that's a little insane, it's crazy, now, however, I haven't seen any awesome gameplay of it. I've seen a lot of infantry gameplay and stuff, but I haven't really looked into a lot of, like... There you go out there. What is he using? Yeah, see, he just got hit by a kill by the horse guy. All they got is a revive. I heard there's not very many people reviving in this game, because there's no, like... People said there's no uh, HUD or, you know, the thing in Battlefield 4, it was like a little timer. I told you in Battlefield 3, there's a little deal here, and it seems like it's 100% heal. Because it got up pretty quick. I mean, it, it, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem like there's an issue with that. We have taken objective Duff. I mean, these objectives, though, that's another thing. That's that's another disturbing thing, is that the uh, call-outs for this. We are Since we're getting some infantry gameplay here, and we have plenty of time here, I'll go ahead and go through these notes here. Now, I don't know what he's gunning he's using, but he said he really liked... He really wanted to like the SMGs more than he actually did. They were just in the middle of the road. At best. Like I said, they ain't, they are mediocre. He really liked the MP18, but the other one he, he can use was like the M1907. I think that's what he called it. it was, he says they're very inaccurate with the ADSs, which is the aim down sight. It's only effective at really much hip fire ranges, and the SMGs are not very are not very accurate in all comparison, and even under fire, it's just ridiculous. And he says it would be better suited for like a medic class because of the urban areas, but the carbines would make more sense for the assault class since they were taking on tanks and stuff, and they would also need the medium range rifles in case the names may show up. Now I understand that deal here, but the medics in this game here is just I don't think they're very good. I think they tossed in this new class and tried making it to where the medic was more of a all-around take out and revive and heal. It ain't just a basic, simple, simple way. I mean, the classes have all been changed. There's the support's no longer the one that takes out stuff. That the medic class is basically what was the assault class is now something completely different. The assault now takes out tanks instead. Hey. 
The game has been so imbalanced that they've changed everything. So the game has completely been rechanged, rethought. It's all from ground up. It's not just copy and paste. This game has no copy and pasting whatsoever. Way to flail out and die. Just die out in a burning inferno. Um, okay, you know, he says that the LMGs were in the same boat. He said he would like to, he would have liked them, but they're not very useful. I've seen a lot, I don't understand that. A lot of people say they're not very useful, but I've seen a lot of fun with them. I would I'd love to play them and use them. I'm pretty sure when I get my own hands-on experience, I'll be able to say, oh, God. You know, but I don't know. Like, as I watch it, I'm like, this is awesome. I think you see that we got some more game tank play and play. And he says at longer ranges, you're better off just beating a, beating him with a stick. I don't know. Well, you'd be able to be best you with a sniper after even a lucky couple of carbine shots. So the LMGs are also become very rather inaccurate when you're under fire. So you get to jump on someone in order to take out them on range, which I can I can understand now. Obviously, suppressive fire and everything. That's probably what the issue is. Is if you're being shot at, the suppressed fire deal is actually kind of OP in this game. It's not as balanced and smooth as it is. It's all a little. It's all flinching. You know, flinching when you get hit or whatever, or flinching when bullets get near you. I mean, that, I think that's just a beta issue. It's, I don't think it's an actual game flaw, to be sure. Because, like I said, this is a beta. This game isn't going to be as great, and I don't think anybody should expect that. So, you know, I mean, this is just one map. This is just the couple days here. This ain't much of anything. When I was watching the pre-alpha, I saw a lot of people having issues. Even with the pro players and the so-called legends and celebrities and everybody else. They're just, it just wasn't, you know, that outstanding. And, you know, the medic class here, he says that the so class is no longer in charge of medic duty. It is now a separate medic class. So now the assault class basically takes on the engineer's role. So basically the assault becomes the engineer and the medic just, like, becomes its own class, which is fine. I mean, th that's fine because the assault's supposed to be more aggressive. So it's supposed to be more, you know, more, you know. But... The medic, he says here, uses only carbine rifles that are both underpowered compared to every single other shot, single shot rifles. And are pretty much just inaccurate, and it's entirely defenseless against tanks. He's not very effective against lighter armored vehicles, which is pretty sad. A mounted, barrel mounted grenade launcher available. He says he hasn't been able to try them because of the bug that prevents them from ranking up from a class, which is a shame. Uh, it says people ever hardly ever revive you, and it's very difficult to even tell who needs revived in this because there is no mini map to indicate that a player needs to revive. There's no, like I said, yeah, on the mini map, this is your mini map right here, this little circle thingy. That's your mini map, and that, that's ridiculous. And it's just, it's very, very sad to see this game, you know, not be as good as the others. It's not, I mean, I would prefer some copy and paste in here, ladies and gentlemen, because, I, like I said, the, I would, there'd be nice if there was a timer, there was. And that timer really helped out in Battlefield 4, give you like know how much time you had. You weren't just gonna race over there for both, you know, to bowl and get shot up and everything. So that's that's pretty good. Um, let's see here. Now, since we're playing Conquest, and we still have a lot of time here, he says that the new system is not very good in his opinion. He said he would prefer the old system. The kills no longer mean anything ticket wise. As you count up to a set number ticket by holding some more flags than the enemy, instead of trying to reduce the enemy tag to zero. Now, I think the only approach that this is happening for is that players are getting tired of people just camping out at objectives, and then people are trying to play the objective, thinking that's how they play it because they think Call of Duty, because Call of Duty is about having the flag captured and ain't about actually getting kills. I think here they're just trying to do a different approach where, you know, you don't get kills to play. You just basically play the objective, hold it down, and try and win with objective caps. And that's, that's actually, to me, that's actually more of an appropriate deal because Conquest is about conquering the land and having map control and not just getting kills. If you want to just kills, if you go to Team Deathmatch or something where it's nothing but kills and then trying to survive, this is more of this... Conquest to me is more of a dominating map because if you can control the map, then you control the game. And obviously, that's where more players should actually be able to be forced into a challenge. And I think a lot of old time Battlefield players are going to be pushed into the situation. It's going to change up the playing field in a sense that allows them to be like, oh my god, I actually have to play the objective and try. I can't just sit and camp at the objective and just shoot people. 
I can't do that, you know, because if you, you noticed, if you play any of the games, that's what people do, and even I had to adapt to that, and I ended up bringing that stuff from Battlefield into Call of Duty, and granted, I won more Call of Duty matches doing that than I did in here, because in Conquest, it was basically just, you know, people would just camp it out and then, you know, fight it. And there would be more of a reason to actually go to the objective, because remember, everyone knows, I mean, you played Operation Metro in the Call of Duty, or I'm sorry, Operation Metro in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, I'm sorry. I've been kind of been playing Call of Duty lately, so I haven't had a chance to play any of the Battlefields. And, okay, so anyway, but like I said, they simply playing that. You notice that people would go into, like, objective, like there was A, B, and C, Obviously, in Operation Metro, was conquest. Everybody would just camp in B, hold A, and then would like let or hold C, and then let A be like out in the out. A was out in the outside, out in the open there in that one little spot there. And everyone would just sit on C and A or C and B. And of course, in order to win, you'd have to get kills. You couldn't just sit on the objectives. Now that, by all means, is awful. And then people, I don't know why, they would try and go to capture C, and then they'd capture C. So they have A and C, but then they have everyone in B. And then they try and flank on flank him on B. There was no strategy to that. It was just kill. That's all you had to do. So nine times out of ten, what the basically what you were doing was just sitting at A and sitting at B, and then just going back and forth shooting each other in this big old long cumbled line and just camping behind objects and just shooting anything you can, and then trying to kill, spam the grenades, and that was the entire game. And that's to me, I actually like this system. I'm actually looking forward to it now because. I didn't know what the new system was. I thought it was going to be the same old thing, which would have been fine for me too, because I've gotten used to it. But this will allow players to be more aggressive on the objectives. It's going to be more people are going to be more focused, like, oh my god, we're losing B. We got to go get it. It ain't just, oh, we lost in B. That's all right, fine. We'll just let them come out of the B. And then once we kill them, we'll go and capture it, just, you know, say, hey, we're winning. You know? Because, I mean, obviously that's really cool. You know, I didn't actually know. When I first played, I thought really you were more you had to capture objectives. I figured the more objectives you had, the more you were going to win because the means the more objectives you had, the faster their ticket count was going to go down. And then that obviously means whoever had the most tickets at the end of the time would win. But you know, no, apparently it was all kills, and I didn't know that until later on when I started playing. You know, late in Battlefield Three, and or then when I started playing Battlefield Four. Because when I played Battlefield Four, I have to admit I didn't even bother with the objective. I left them neutral. I made sure the enemies didn't even have them so they couldn't spawn in on them. And if they could spawn in, then hell, I would camp out the objective. I really would. I would literally sit in one of the... In, in, uh, I remember, remember Battlefield 4, it was a really dark map. And basically it was uh, it had that one long bridge. I don't remember the name of the map. I hadn't played Battlefield 4 in a long time. And I would sit there on one of the things, and I would have a sniper rifle. And I'd sit there and wait and watch this objective. As soon as someone would pop on the flag, boom, headshot, done. I had it literally mapped out. And every time, and then as soon as somebody would come and try and get me, I'd pull up my pistol and blah, 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 blah. You know, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. <laughs> it was just certainly so easy to do that rather than actually play the objective. I mean, I felt more compelled to just sit there with an LMG or a sniper rifle and just watch over the objective and make sure no enemies came into the area. If they did, shoot them. If they ended up getting the objective, who cares? I'll just let my other team go do it, and then if they're really concerned about it. You know, and that's, that's how I was playing Battlefield 4, and to me, that just, that sucked. It really got boring a lot, and I didn't want to play Battlefield 4 a lot. I was, I was like, this is not really that fun. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna have more fun playing this if I'm able to do that. Now let's see what time we have here left. We're almost out of time, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rover on Twitch 613. Thank you for watching. Thank you for pl playing the beta for everyone and being able to like, watch this and everything else. If you've not played the beta, I hope you will actually join me and we'll play it together. First time ever in the full game itself. I do not have a PC, so don't expect that. I have an Xbox One. I'll probably play it on the Xbox One and nothing else. So I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But this is Roadrun2613 saying thank you for watching once again. Be sure to like, sub, and comment down below. This is Roadrun2613 saying to all of you, meet me.